Many of us grew up on those caramels wrapped in wax paper come holiday time. If someone in your family didn't make them, then you usually knew of a friend or a coworker who made them. If you were like me, you immediately thought, too much trouble. I thought the same thing until a friend gave me a recipe that required nothing more than a few ingredients, a bowl, and a microwave. Intrigued? Grab a cup of hot cocoa. It's time to microwave some magic in Mrs. Kringle's kitchen. Line an 8x8 pan with parchment paper. If it's rolling up on you, just use some corn syrup under the corners to secure it. Spray the sides with cooking spray so the caramels release easily for you and set the pan aside. In a large microwave safe bowl, add the half cup of sugar, half cup of brown sugar, quarter cup of melted butter, I used brown butter for this recipe, so scrape all the brown butter bits into the bowl. Add the half cup of light corn syrup, and finally the half cup of sweetened condensed milk. Mix the ingredients together to break everything up. Microwave the mixture for two minutes. Carefully remove the bowl with a pot holder as it will be bubbling and hot and give the ingredients a stir before returning it to the microwave. Microwave it again for another two minutes. Again, carefully remove the bowl and stir before returning it to the microwave for the third and final time for two minutes. Carefully remove the bowl from the microwave oven. If you want a harder caramel, add one teaspoon of vanilla and give it one final stir. Omit the vanilla if you like your caramels a little softer and stir until smooth. Carefully scrape the caramel into your 8x8 pan with a spatula. It will set quickly. If you'd like to make these sea salt caramels, sprinkle one teaspoon of flake sea salt onto the top of the caramels after transferring to the dish and cover it with plastic wrap. Let it sit for about 20 minutes until it's set. Using a kitchen knife, give it a quick spray of cooking spray and begin scoring the caramels. If you're impatient like I am, you can also spray a food scraper and it covers more surface area as you score. Score out about 12 to 14 caramels. Time to cut your wax paper. Fold a sheet in half and cut it on the line. Fold that sheet into thirds and cut those. You're going to have to guesstimate on the size. When it's time to remove the caramels, I like to use the food scraper to help me get them out. They'll still be pliable, so mold them into the shape that's a little prettier if they look a little wonky. Place them in the middle of the wax paper, roll them up, and twist the ends to secure them. These caramels are a quick way to make some old-fashioned goodies in half the time, and no candy thermometer needed. So if you've ever been intimidated by a caramel recipe, give this one a try. Because they're soft, they will mold to the shape of whatever they're served on, so a nice plate or a flat candy dish would help them keep their shape. If you like this recipe, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more easy dishes delivered straight to you from Mrs. Kringle's Kitchen. 